I like Aunt Mabel better. I thought you were watching Will of Fortune. I am. The Escape Pod. Ah, hello everybody. This is uh, Turnstile Records presents the Escape Pod. This across from the table is uh, Jez Boff on the diagonal. That would be Sean enough. Next to me, I'll cry myself to sleep at night still. Okay, and I am the boss of the podcast, Timmy Taco. How's everybody going? I'm going uh, fantastically. You've done another intro, Tim. There you go, because I am the... The boss of yes, the, the record. Hefe, the hefe, as yes. they say on Narcos. Episode 101, and no, you're not mistaken. Uh, it's um, 1, 2, skip a few, 99, 101. That's right. <laughs> yes. I feel like that um, guy in that show, Quantum Leap. Ah, Yes. When are they going to remake that? When are they going to remake that? Um, I don't know when they'll do that. And I also don't know when we'll do our episode 100, which is, it is coming up, the ah. live episode. That's where I was getting at. We're now, going to have to quantum, think, uh, quantum leap yourself into the uh, escape pod. I think um, we're going to just sort of kick off usual stylings. Mm. Um, we've, we've passed the 100 mark. It's a great accomplishment for for us as a group, as a unit. Um, oh, and also it's our uh, two year anniversary. Oh, April, it was. April, April oh, 1st well, when we was... posted up the Easter episode, that was our actually on the day, mm. April Fool's Day, ironically. Two thousand sixteen. It was uh, a day a lot like this. The sun was out. Um, the sun had gone down. Only. Uh, I don't know. What I'm right. Saying. So we've got a new set of chops in the uh, studio tonight. Our we're gonna we're gonna call her intern for the evening. Mark um, that for me, Tim. No, I'm not doing that. Um, we, we our intern for the evening, Crystal. Um, mm. What were you? What were your? What was your handle? Uh, I th- think I panicked and said, "Cry myself to sleep at night." Still. Okay. Yep. Rolls rolls yeah. off the tongue. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Quite, quite creative. Still. Yeah. Better than You'll Sean find Bateman that, Jacks. Well, That's what yeah. You find that the longer the name, the um, the harder s- harder it is to maintain it. Sooner it. Sooner it goes. I think that's what the purpose of a nickname is, is to shorten your original name. Well, I had the turnstilerecords.net, and when you find Tim at turnstilerecords.net, you're constantly tippity tap 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 to rule on the old keyboard. Yeah, it's it's long. Yeah, it's got to be an abbreviation. Would have been good. TT at hotmail.com. TT at TT Yahoo dot, mm. dot U dot net dot org. <laughs> I don't what know how it all org? works. I don't know how it all works. I've Organization? Just... Is it? Something like that, yeah. Isn't there one for each country, like .com.au? That's, yeah, there is. That's us, isn't it? I yeah. think .com is a Google thing, is it? And then .co is No, a, I think Google I came know. after I .com. I don't know. It, yeah, .com is an American domain. I think that's they don't have to have an extension, but everyone else does. Did you just save time by shortening domain to .do? Um, did they do that? <laughs> I think you said do name. Do name. <laughs> it's a no name and a domain. Yeah. I thought you'd try to save time, but then I bought it up and. No, well, that's what we're trying really to do here. Process. We're talking about abbreviations, saving time. Mm. Talking about saving time. Jeremy Trappett, Jez Bot. Okay. So now it's yeah. it's a lot shorter. Okay. It's good. Giving a lot of information about your personal life there, Jeremy oh, Trappett. It's, it's all up there, man. It is. Very true. Just put it all up there. Oh, I was going to say, my last name's actually Shuttleworth. So Shuttle shuttlecock work. is yep. usually a good what abbreviation. You get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a heavy yep. dose of vitamin D. Yeah. So you uh, do you get sick of typing it, writing it, signing it? Yes, yes. Sometimes I just want to write anonymous. Mm. When is... when you were all growing up, did you ever practice signing your name for when you uh, got a mortgage? Definitely, it's the same one. <laughs> I find it in uh, any old uh, diaries, school diaries, is just pages and pages of. Me signing my name because that's pretty much what I was doing the whole time. Not I didn't learning. sign it so I could get a mortgage. I was practicing it for when I got into the NBA. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Signing autographs. <laughs> yeah, that that kind of thing. Can I have your John Hancock on this? Isn't that what they say? What do you reckon your John Hancock's worth on the street market? Um, it looks a lot like Frank DeSirio's, um signature. He sat next to me and we were having a sign-off oh, yeah. one, one afternoon and parts of my signature has echoes of a Frank DeSirio kind of uh, penmanship. 
I must admit. It's a great name. But I kept it. And then um, I got a mortgage after all these years. And that's years. it. So there you go. You've got to have a signature to get a mortgage. That's one. That is <laughs> one do. part yeah, of it. You have to. That's, if, that's just But it's saying move. about it's worth. It might be worth something. I did hear last night on a reputable radio program, Timmy Taco here described as um, a bit of a legend. A legend, oh, yeah. isn't it? Pa- there did you say that. powerhouse? Um, maybe <laughs> something that to that effect. Dream? <laughs> <laughs> maybe something to that effect. I've got the recording. I'll, um, oh. I'll oh, give you it to you. Oh, you did record it. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. But, um, yeah, what, definitely, what definitely did it. say legend. That was... that was on KISS FM and not to be confused with KISS FM. Yeah. Don't know, don't know what's going on there. And, and also, this particular KISS FM is like a... I don't want to say community radio because they own it, these guys. Okay. Um, but... If you drive around for long enough, it actually crosses over with another station. Yeah. So they need to boost their signal. So is that like a uh, is that like a a con, somewhat? Are they are they selling real estate that already exists? You know, oh, like eighty seven point six. Oh, you can a also kit. you your radio station is also just shit. So uh, I think that you I can think share. They get around it by it's K double I S, isn't it? And then the other ones K I double, yeah. The K- smaller ones K double I S or K I double it. Am I saying okay. that? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. You the, are small, just the smaller ones yeah. spelled correctly, correctly. Yeah, and the uh, larger ones spelled incorrectly. Incorrectly, which makes you consider the smaller one came first. But wouldn't it be funny if um, you know how you said they they merge stations with another station? You know, they're a dance station. They're into the good old old fashioned mix. Yeah, they what are. they should do is buy out the next station in the in the bordering town, and then you could do your own mixes, you know, oh, on the yeah, fly, yeah, yeah. just driving, synchronize between the. You just yeah. find the line and just get the swerve That's on, and right. you can, the town, you can make like your own mix. Yeah. It's usually when a truck pulls up next to you, and the tram. What's what's the deal with the old tram pulling up? If you listen to AM radio, mm. and the tram pulls up next to you, pulls pulls all the uh, frequency out of the AM band. Okay. Uh, you've never experienced never, that? No, no, I haven't. Okay. I have on my, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous podcast, my reversing camera that I wired up myself, occasionally uh, another, a truck or someone with a similar system drives past and it will flash up in my screen. They're, You'll see their screen. I'll say their, 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 their uh, review camera will be on in my, oh, just flashes of it, just you fuzzy, things. fuzziness. But okay, I know it's not my car because I'll be like, stationary and the the picture will be moving it's very trippy very trippy that's brilliant because i know camo who's been on the station uh station god I'm, I'm in last night mode it's been on the show before um he has a um bluetooth mm. and when somebody drives past using the same band as him they swap or so his radio thing. drops out or so only, there must be only a certain amount of frequencies do, do you know anything about Frequencies over there. Do you want to do a bit of a research while you're uh... sure? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Our what? Intern. Am, what am I researching? Um, I can you out, type sorry. in um, my radio drops out when driving near other radios? I don't know. How will we say that? Um, frequency, frequency jumping or like. Oh, no, actually, can you look up, can you fact check, <laughs> scrap that. <laughs> took me um, to write, but okay, go. Can you look up um, driving camera mm. swaps with other car? It's not going to work, is it? No. That kind of research. You're definitely right, though. There is only a, a limited I just look up number driving? of frequencies within the bandwidths that they use. Mm. Reverse camera. And, um, you know, obviously you're getting mixed up with a similar bandwidth, you know. Sure. Yeah, see, so like, and they're all sharing this the one frequency. cosmic bandwidth. Yeah, I think you can do that be... with your roller doors, can't you? You just go around with your little button and you, know, you just drive the streets with a whole bunch of roller door buttons. That's right. And then beep, you, beep, just, beep, you beep. just wait till one of them opens and hopefully... And they... how do they... Can I, just, can I just ask one more question? Sure. It's a, um, I guess this is... No. Nah. Something. Um, I guess this is weird science, but um, if you're in a car park... Mm. And you're pressing your alarm. How does not every other car detect? So many numbers, Tim. Is it a code? Yeah, I yep. think so. Yeah, lots of numbers. Specific of numbers. car code. Yeah. Can your like smart TV watch you? Yes, we know that's that's a fact. We've had that 
fact checked before. I just looked um, up reverse camera Skynet. Reverse? Oh yeah, Skynet. Do you know that? You know there's a real Skynet. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Didn't they launch at the same time as? I don't know when they launched. I just found it. Um, it's one of them fictions stranger than fiction. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a fact, a fact stranger than fiction. Faction, faction. You know, stranger than fiction. I found out that that existed, and it was actually called Skynet. Or the the um, what is it? That's like, like a, a telco, isn't it? That's a telco, a separate. Oh, or is, I thought it was a separate mobile data network, separate to our communication network that was made to for all autonomous military drones to communicate with each other, and it was called Skynet. Okay. Yeah, I just, sounds like the real thing. In Terminator, they just completely rip off names, don't they? Yeah, Lack of do originality. Just, yeah, do you think they've just done that, or is it? Can you really see the military dudes, those military nerds, knowing Terminator? And... Yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah. Military nerds, for sure. Okay, so in front of me, I have a thing called a think tank. Think tank. <laughs> right, sorry. And um, it's a, I guess, plastic or Bakelite ball mm. from 1965, and it's full of little strip words, words just cut out. I think this is this is before they invented magnets for the fridge. You know the That's, the popular. I can see how it would come from there. Yeah, so a whole bunch of magnet words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Think of it like little magnet words, but this thing's jam packed. You turn the thing, and there's a window on the front. Um, it looks like an escape pod. It actually. does. Yeah. Um, or a think tank, as we sometimes refer Just turn to. Turn that around. That looks like a. It's like a Pixar character. It does. It's got a clear window on the front, and as you turn the little thing, um, like what a... What thing is it? A dial? I guess a, a knob. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you'd call it. And and it reveals the words to the front of the screen. Mm-hmm. And let's just see. It's just ran, randomly generate words. Does anybody know the word... Yes. Farrier. F A R R I E R. I know what that is. Do you? A farrier. Yep. That is um, the bloke that comes around to change your horse's shoes. Oh, really? Can yep. We, can we fact can we check, fact that? check that? Jump on that. We've got uh, Crystal on the ones and twos over there going tippity tap, tap, tap on the old keyboard, testing Sean enough to see if he's right. And Sean enough, is he right? Uh, No. Okay, We're going to need you to type faster than that. Um, <laughs> if you get tired of typing over there, I don't mind. I've got a bit of a uh, touch type thing going on. Yeah, cool. I don't really. I'm a, I'm a two finger. Partially yeah. dyslexic. You cheating? Yeah, I am too. So, I'm, a, I'm a two finger typer. I am. And I thought once the um, once the text came in and it became a two thumb deal, I thought we we're all going to be. Um, on the same level with the typing, you know, or the speed of it. You're nice. only using two fingers, or are you you're not typing like this. No, I'm, I'm all thumbs, man. One thumb even. How do you go with your um, screen, Jeremy? My screen, uh, I'm about ready to throw this. You often get me to press your screen. I do. Because Cassie your as well. thick, calloused hands won't uh, register on just a, a touchscreen. Yeah, screen. the screen just doesn't pick up my fingers for some reason. I don't know. No, go why. Oh, what was I looking up? Yeah, far- farrier, farrier. I can't look the word up again because I turned the thing. Just fact-checking oh. Skynet. Um, nothing initially comes up to say that you know. That's there's true. no, there's no number one website saying that this is that it exists. Um, there's a few um, Skynet education, Skynet financial services in uh, Brighton, Victoria. Shout-outs, guys. Um, but um, lo- a lot of uh, references to the fictional. Skynet. So, is that like calling okay. yourself uh, Dark Side Accounting? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we put the uh, we put the dark side back in taxes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we've got a result. We do uh, a Smith who shoes horses. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ding 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 ding. A, oh, t- you're going to turn ding, your no. soundboard on, Tim. Yeah, it makes all the difference. It prov- provides such a colourful atmosphere. Yeah, it does. Uh, it is a character. I will. Um, and the next word that came up in the think tank, get this, kinetic. Oh, there you go. Do you want to lighten the audience on the significance um, of that word? I, kinetic is a mythical creature that existed in the um, Melbourne hip hop scene roughly um, <laughs> eight to 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's you, right? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, that was his rap name. K1. Okay, oh, K1, Kinetic. Like okay, it. Frank Sinatra. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise known as the... Um, the energy that's uh, of fo- the energy of motion, yeah, kinetic energy, yeah, yeah. yeah. and also the um, I witnessed that live on stage where you used your kinetic en- energy to fall over the microphone stand onto your keyboard and snap some white keys <laughs> off your true. keyboard. Remember that? That was a regular occurrence. I said, "Man, you're you, you're so pissed. And you're like, I haven't, I haven't drank for for weeks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I just uh, I got into the performance. Yeah, it was great. When did you hang up the microphone? Um, because I know the exact exact second I did. No, because it wasn't official, you know. Like I, I still have a sing song every now and then. A sing but song. Yeah, and, will you um, rhyme into said microphone. Oh, rhyming rhyming as such into microphones has been a lot longer, mm. and um, it's probably been geez, I probably haven't rhymed <laughs> um outside of a studio into a microphone for maybe five years. No, you, yeah. you're not a rapper anymore. No. no, that's it. You lose it after a certain time. I know. Do you uh, play an instrument of any description over there, Christy? Me? No. no. I used to play the recorder. Okay. Yeah. That, that counts. It does. I think it does. One. But just don't play it in front of me. I did, did, you... um, I did try and play the saxophone uh, when I was in high school, but I couldn't be bothered carrying it all the way home. It's a yeah. lot of blowing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Have you got, got any results? It looks like you... Yeah. Uh, the definition of kinetic is something relating to or caused by motion. Yeah. Or emotion in your case, <laughs> with the emotion that you evoke from your rapidy doodahs. <laughs> rapidy doodahs. That's what we call it. Um, okay, so why don't we? Um, I'm going to keep coming back to the think tank every once in a while, give a little twizzle of the nizzle. Can I just have a sidebar, Tim? Please. Guys, in general, I came into the studio, there was uh, two letters sitting in my spot. Um, yeah, because I thought you'd left them here on Monday. No, but it's or an, Sunday. Have, when are we here? It's an official Friday. Channel 7 logo from 1988. Yeah. And so the rainbow circle with the seven in it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the old, uh, the old give them five, give them two. That's a very visual well, thing. Really. Oh, it's yeah, a symbol I haven't that? seen in a while. It evokes extreme sense of nostalgia. It does. It reminds me of Norman Gunston. Mm. 12th of May, 1988. And it's a knockout. <laughs> uh, and it's addressed to my wife, Miss... Cassie Kavanagh. Mm. That's her maiden name, so now everyone knows. Um, (laughs) And it has her address, her old address, but I won't read that out. But uh, it's a letter congratulating her on winning the ELF competition (coughs) that they obviously had. And uh, please find and close your prizes. uh, yeah. What was the on, show? You know, uh, Cartoon Connection. Okay. So was that... Um, Once again, congratulating, uh, congratulations on winning, and we hope you enjoy watching the Cartoon Connection. Okay. Then, uh, and then on the next page... Next uh, page is, is, is a return letter. Written from, in calligraphy, <laughs> old school style. It is. Uh, from my now mother-in-law, okay. saying that the products that you've sent my daughter are scratched up and uh, need to be replaced if possible. Can, can we figure anything out? Okay, because I believe that Cassandra lent me her ELF record. <laughs> <laughs> she can use this for anything. And I'm pretty sure that must have fallen out of there. Although, I'm pretty sure I gave the ELF record back months ago. So, I don't know how that, I don't know how that ended up on... Why did you have the ELF record? Uh, I don't Why know. wouldn't you? We're talking ELF, the alien... Correct. Yeah. The pig snouted, yeah. hilarious cat, cat alien eating, from the um, 80s. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that guy. What's his master's name? Um, it was uh, Willie. Oh, yeah. Willie. Willie. Yep. Yeah. Oh, get your hairy cock out of my ass. <laughs> he was always getting up to mischief. Go for it, Willie. <laughs> yeah. Getting up to mischief, Alf. But uh, so. Did anybody else here win anything off TV ever? Not once. I didn't what? enter anything, but, you know. I got a feeling that, like no. we knew somebody who was on the um, the morning, the breakfast show with the early Daryl bird. Cotton, early, early bird, bird show. show yeah. Someone was on that go kart competition. Oh yeah, god damn! Do so they would that? have been one of the luckiest kids of that that time. You know the giant prize packs they used to have. They used to put out this smorgasbord, and you're like, you win this and you win that, and it yeah. comes down to just like samples of like chocolate milk powder, but you're still frothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah over, that's exactly. You know. that. Oh, it's so lucky. Like Oval teenies and uh, sultanas. Yeah, that's right. Know. But yeah. uh, so that's 
obviously the letter just didn't drop out of some wormhole. It's no. obviously been in the annals uh, of in the Alf record, but it's, Alf it's just annals. weird. Like it's weird that you would want to play the Alf record, but then the letter was stuffed in there. What kind of music would be on an Alf record? I think uh, his greatest hits. His greatest hits. <laughs> yeah, like um, yeah. I think there was a song on Alf. Um, Asparagus, asparagus, asparagus. It makes you feel more able. Yep. Um, that asparagus, up. asparagus, put it on your table. Asparagus, asparagus, put it on your table. Asparagus, asparagus, will make you feel more able. Yeah. So that would be on there for sure. That would be cat-based humour. Yep. Because he be, loves um, to eat cats. There'd be a song about Melmac. Who doesn't like to eat pussy? Though? Melmac rap. Melmac rap. <laughs> Can we get a... He's ahead of his time. Can you, can you look up an yeah, Elf you don't, album? You're not doing I've, got it, I've got it here. She's doing, um, she's doing a job. Sean, Sean enough. Sean enough. He's already we've got it. Right, we've already, you've been out um, You've been out researched. Elf, um, elf music video. What do you think is uh, what it, one of his singles is called? I reckon it's going to be like uh, something to do with not being an alien. You're wrong. Oh. Mel, Mel Mac rap or cat something with a cat. Cat. Well, well, you were close. Mel Mac rap. First one I found was called Out of This World. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yep. Um, and then the... Oh, yeah. Okay. So... Got a huge but you got an Alf, um, Alf film clip. Thanks, and the, intern. And the last Alf episode is... Oh, he's, very already, de- very he's, already, he's already out <laughs> researching you again. Hold that up to your microphone if you're going to... He's wearing a wig, yeah. He's got a headband on. He's looking a little bit um, Axl Rose-ish. There we go. So, he's... Uh, <laughs> is that it? Hello, dude. I think he was ahead of his time. I think that's an, uh, enough, Sean. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Mm. It's weird, and the Alf. last the last episode of Alf, of Alf, I think he gets cap, uh, captured by the FBI. And <laughs> really, <laughs> let's find out. We'll let's get our uh, our intern on that one. I'd love to know what happened right to Alf because he did just sort of peter because off, didn't he? It was huge, and then do you think uh, yeah, Alf ever came the, the puppeteer and the voice of Alf? Did he ever come back to do things after the fact? Because Other I'm pretty puppets. sure didn't we get um, who was our who was our Alf? Agro. Agro. Oh, yeah. Cartoon Connection, ironically. Channel 7. True. Here we go. We've got some uh, info right here. Oh, I was going to say, apparently uh, he was a molester. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, agro. Agro was. Ag- like, uh, yeah, the guy that was uh, puppeteering Agro was oh, also yeah. trying to puppeteer the girl that was working with him. Uh, ah, yeah. it's all coming yeah. out Kerry now. Ann. Kerry. Ke- um, Have you ever seen the um, oh, replaceable blonde? Yeah, yeah. yeah there was, was a few of them. Right. There was a few of them. And uh, But have you ever seen the video, which was like the behind the scenes of the aggro? And it was... Ah, uh, yeah, the, the swear reel. The swear reel. It was it was quite crass. Is that the one where he molests the woman under the table? Yeah, along Pretty the lines much. of that. Okay. It's Hashtag it. her too. It was a different time. <laughs> Hashtag aggro. Um, Agro put his hand up me. Is that what the case was? Speaking of um, touching genitals, I was um, I went down to the forest <laughs> today and got a you know an arrangement for the house, and I found I come with these real interesting flowers that resembled um, hairy ball sacks, like uh-huh. very much so, green hairy ball sacks. Mm-hmm. Fascinating you just flowers. Had to have them. Look great. Had to get my hands on a bunch mm-hmm. of these ball sacks. <laughs> yep. And um, I think when he says forest. He's actually talking uh, <laughs> about his front lawn. Yeah, well, anyway, so, but it got me thinking about like flowers and different types of flowers that look like genitals. Because I've got another tree mm. in my backyard mm. which um, gets fertilized by a certain type of moth that doesn't occur in our region. So, what it requires is um, when, it, when it flowers, it makes like a, um, like a banana shape, like a pretty much like a penis shape bulb and um to so for this plant to survive you actually have to wait until it opens up um and gets hot and then it, it sounds hot it's um and amidst like a you jerk, an it off. You jerk it off and get it seed yeah yeah that's <laughs> right licorice uh, once you can smell the licorice you go out and um jerk it off and Excellent. um there you go yeah 
Okay. Yeah, another one. I've got actually got uh, right. Here, speaking of plants, uh, have you ever seen a waving plant? No. Yeah, you look that one up on YouTube. Really? It's, uh, it's, it's more of a visual thing, but this uh, there's like all this footage of just this one leaf just go uh, waving, waving off, and okay. waving off. Trust it's really weird. Just the wind? No, no. Okay. Waving plants. Do yourself a favour. Hey, uh, windy, you never know. windy, uh, windy leaves. It's all there. It's all there on the Don't internet. Don't So <laughs> I think it's a great time for a a game. Mm. Um, I could spin the wheel, but I didn't really prepare the sound thing before we pressed record. So I'm gonna. You're gonna have a crack at it. Just see what. Uh, yeah, let's have a lucky dip. Can I hit the wheel? <laughs> No, that's to chop me out. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, he's got Luckily, this, that is the game. Well, chop me out right. was the game. Someone so. did come prepared. So we've um, got one of these here, a bit of a chop me out. We've got another uh, classic black on the table tonight. Excellent. In our um, sorry, in our barrel of um, names. Now, did we, we got a couple? Do we, st- that we, can, we start um, again? Because yeah. what happened last time is we did double or nothing. Shuffle the hat. Grab a couple of new with, ones. Came up with nothing. So we're going to start it again. So mm. no one's currently chopped themselves out. Uh, so do yourself a favour. Go on to Turnstile Records Presents is that Facebook real? page. All right. Well, if that's and, the case, uh, chop we're, us out. we're going to have to get this chop me out going. And um, all you have to do is write in with the words chop me out. Hashtag chop me out. And your address. And then you go into the winning. Of. Or to the running. The running of the potential winning of. This prize, that a could portion be of <laughs> on this scratchy. Now, sure enough, um, here's the lucky uh, scratchy key. There you go. Bottle top. The uh, bottle top's probably better. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and Thank while sure enough scratches that away mm. to reveal the results, uh, have another crack at the soundboard. And see if you can get it right this time. Another crack at the soundboard and see if I can get the. Two spins maximum each. The one who spins nearest a dollar without going over a dollar goes into the showcase playoff. That's the rules to the wheel. Ah. And. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> this is the game. Usually what happens is we wheel with the big six wheel. And it lands on exactly the game that the players play. And it's completely relevant. So uh, I'm just going to go straight into. Oh, how are we going on the chop me out? Let's just get an update there. Um, nothing so far. Okay, that's to be expected. But we've only just started. So this is a number one or a letter one? That's a number one. It's a classic bingo scenario. It's a uh, number wang? <laughs> that's a number wang. <laughs> um, All right, well, just keep us up to date. Yeah. You know? okay. Basically, we've got a list of numbers here, and um, we've just got to get one of them. And if we get that number, then we win the corresponding prize, um, which varies. Uh, randomly as well. It could go up to $100,000. It could do. Could do. All right. Well, we're, we're approaching a break here, and I think it's just going to kick in. Should we take a break before we launch into my game? No, let's, let's well, keep Well, I haven't it. really let's announced it. Well, let's go. Okay. I need to turn this Don't down so it doesn't... Let's um, get this going. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure enough. Sure. Let's we'll turn this down because it really is about to kick in. blast us. Okay. Right up. Well done. All right. Hold the phone here. Oh, right, Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to announce the week that uh, we don't have anybody entering into yes. the Chop Me Out. But like we did say, if you do enter into Chop Me Out, that you are always continually in the barrel. That's correct. You are. Oh, so, yeah. yeah look, you are, you okay, know. so we've got, yeah. you got your Johns, you've got your Anthony's, you've got your Mary's, you've got your Bruce's, you've got your... <laughs> yeah, uh, so Daniels, shuffle the hat. Shuffle okay. the hat. We've got to shuffle yeah. the hat. Pick a couple. Oh, pick yeah. Couple okay, yeah, we can do that. Just, uh, just I can tell you one thing. We've definitely won a prize, but I don't know what that prize is yet. Okay. Okay, just give it a little... Okay, pull the first name out of the hat. It is me. I'm in. <laughs> and uh, another one? Well, we're in. We're all in. And it's Jezbot. Look at that. And Crystal and Sean Enough. So it's just okay. the four of us. It's the four of us. Great. 50 grand each, dudes. <laughs> this is, this. No, it's not. <laughs> now we've won. We're bending the rules. I'm like, no. Nah. Um, all right, let me scratch this little bit of thing away here, and let's see what we've... Oh, guys. What have we got? What's this? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. So we're up. Well done. We're up. Yeah, give it give it the old yeah, pathetic... Chop, um, you just got chopped chop out. out. We got chopped out. Okay, you've, so... You've only got... You've got, like, rows and rows to scratch still. 
We do. We could win other prizes. So you I just thought it's highly old, uh, unlikely. Times five. Highly, and we've we... got a multiplier panel as well. We don't okay. know. We could. But this we could boost it up. So let's let's cut to a break. When we come back, we'll go with my game, which is it a game right. or segment? It is a seg game. Mint. Right. A Sega game. Sega yeah. game. <laughs> Altered yeah, like beast. It. All right. Back in a minute. And now a word from our sponsors. Uh, good afternoon, folks. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we're currently heading straight for a mountain at 850 kilometers an hour. You're all about to die a horrible, fiery death. So now's a great time to thank you for flying with us. And please enjoy our complimentary bottle of Alfonso's Relief. That's right. Alfonso's Relief, located in your upper baggage compartment. Reach for the relief. Alfonso's relief, even in certain death, reach for the relief. And we're back from the break with a little segment that I invented. Um, it's though well, I didn't really invent the multiple choice concept, but it is multiple choice. A game of my choosing, um, which I poured over the name and couldn't really come up with a good name. All I came up with was what word means what. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. I, I like, like it. it. Yeah, I worked pretty hard on that. Oh no, I need both pages. You got pages and pages. So, so it's basically I'm going to give you a word that you know that's quite familiar to your vocabulary. Okay. And um, see if you actually know what the word means. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, yep. That's great. So sort I'm of what we were just doing before. With, <laughs> you do a little bit of this, haven't we? Exactly. Word based. Word based. It's games, word based. Tim. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it, what do you do? Do you want me to do like video-based games that nobody else can? They can't really, really play. Sure, it's got to be sound. Yeah. Um, so you could do what sound is what. <laughs> what sound is what? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Write that down for but next. Do you know week. what happens? I have to spend hours and hours programming the soundboard, and when it comes down to executing it, as we found out just before, like, yeah. how yeah. good are your impressions, though? Yeah, true, true that, no <laughs> doubt. Um, okay, so what does what what word means what? <laughs> uh, inflammable means you can't set it alight on fire. What does it? Mm-hmm. Inflammable. Yeah. Mm. I'd say so. Wow, that was a really long pause for a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what inflammable means? I'm I'm just gonna say cannot set on fire. It's actually flammable. Can set on fire. Yeah. It's Hence my pause. Inflammable. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Inflammable. Okay, I see what I see. What you're doing here, right? Okay, okay that I'll one's just it. to throw you off because the others are not like that at all. They <laughs> they turn into multiple choice. Okay, almost instantly. That's as far as I got with. That was a good one, though. <laughs> it was. Thank you. Uh, I'll take that. Yes. Do, you know do, do I give a little ah uh, sandbox back? back. back. Okay, sense. so bankrupt means and I'm going to go give you guys a multiple choice, so then you can choose. Right? Please don't choose the same one. Only one of you can be right. Uh, bankrupt means cracked stove, broken bench, or busted boudoir. Boudoir? Boudoir. That's boudoir. Which one of those do you think it is? I'm going to go stove. You're going to go the cracked stove option. Toilet, stove, and bench. Uh, no, neither were um, I'll take the other options. one then. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, yeah, the... the What's the is boudoir? Is that a toilet? Isn't that busted, a bedroom? Busted, is it? Yeah. Busted boudoir. Right. If, only there was, if only there was some is, magical yeah. box that we could just type I'm in. I'm just going to slip into some so word and find boudoir. out what it means. Boudoir. I'm just curious, like when you go, "Hey, let's go to the boudoir." Like, <laughs> you actually mean the toilet? <laughs> yeah. Why are you in okay. the toilet? I'm in here already. <laughs> Someone's going to be Where very are you? disappointed. I'm on the bed. That's right. That's right. Oh, I'll just slip into something more comfortable. Yeah, but you know, I can be my ignorance can be forgiven because I haven't dropped. Let's bust out to the boudoir. <laughs> lately. Since the twenties, eighteen seventy six. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, uh, it is a B broken bench. A broken bench, bankrupt. So bankrupt means oh, the broken bank bench, bank yeah. of a river, bank okay. broken bench. Bank table. What's the name? Okay, mm. here we go. Jeez, if- vodka means right potato water. Death water, hmm. little water, or clear water? water? Well, the obvious one's potato. 
Okay. Potato water. Joe was going potato. So that's how they make vodka, isn't it? Out of potato? It is. Yes. There you go. There you go. It would make sense. It does make sense, but... So I'm remember, clearly right. <laughs> so you guys are wrong. I'm going to go death water. You're going to go death water. Mm. Okay. Death water, which also makes sense. It's very sort of obvious. Can't do but the same if thing. you know how Russians drink vodka, they wouldn't be referring to it like it's a thing of death. They, Love I think they actually see normal water as more of a deathly substitute for vodka. I believe they call it the little water. Correct. Sean Ross <laughs> got it. A little water. He's on fire tonight. What's what's the kind of music that I should be putting behind this? Mm. Rocky theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we need buzzers, though. Yeah, yeah you true. should have buzzers. That's a good one. That's, here we go. This buzzers. Got to bring in fresh, okay. fresh uh, ideas into the escape pod. I okay. love it. Um, casino means okay. a big house, a little house, or a dog house. Mm. Casino. I'll go dog house. At this stage, I like to say, feel free to play at home. If you're uh, hearing this, try and think of the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and then when you hear the answer, you'll go, huh. I was oh. right. <laughs> or wrong. So that leaves little house or big house. Or dog house. I'm going for dog. Oh, Which I'm we, we could also listening. agree with Jezbot. Um, no, we can't. That was the one rule. Oh, you're not really? allowed to agree. Yeah, okay. that was the one rule. <laughs> All right. Um, well, what what were you thinking? Um, I was thinking whatever you're not thinking. All oh, right, okay. I've actually forgotten what the answers were. That's all right. Um, Casino means big house, little house, or dog house. It's big right. house. Big house, okay. I'm going to have to say little house, too. Yes, you are. And... <laughs> that is correct. Sean is just coming through with the goods. Uh, Sean have, enough. And do you have any explanations on any, um, any other research? Some of them I do, some of them I don't. I was gonna, I was gonna copy and paste all that kind of stuff, but then I turned it into a multiple choice, and I ran. Out I of thought room. casino was a place where you threw your money. Away. Moving right along, um, mortgage is from the French, French words for mm. Mm. Um, a debt plan. This is mortgage. A, mor- a mortgage. Mortgage. Mm. Uh, that was more Italian. <laughs> number two, life agreement, or C. Death contract, debt plan, mm. life agreement, or death now contract. We know you've got a mortgage because you have a signature, so that's yes, yeah, so part and parcel <laughs> with that. Look at Mr. Signy, Signy over here. <laughs> yep. Wiggly squiggly. His fancy pen. Uh, I'll say the first one. I like, debt again, plan. <laughs> again, again, I can't remember yeah. what you said. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it just like all the answers tend to blend together? Yeah, you see. So, so I had the real answer, and then I tried to come up with other faux answers that sounded to like throw you the off real the answer. scent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that because because I thought it was kind of easy. That's like I can't believe it's not butter, but not. But you totally can. Yeah. <laughs> it's just margarine. can you believe it's not butter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can tell the difference yeah. between. Uh, butter and I can't believe it's not butter. No, you can't, Mr. Simpson. No, no one, one can. can. <laughs> uh, I can because um, you told me in the title it's not butter. Precisely. <laughs> the other one's called butter. Let's uh, let's let's well, step I've, it up. I've, not I've, death I've, yeah. contract. Yep. Jeremy's got debt plan. Who wants? Um, I'm going to say um, life contract. <clears throat> okay, life agreement. Life I, agreement. I want the other one. <laughs> you want death contract? Yes. Correct. Yes. Death contract. Suck it. it acts mortgage <laughs> actually means death contract in Le Francais. Okay. Le oui oui, le, le poupou. Uh, it's funny that, isn't it? C'est play croissant. I think in Bogan it means not attainable, like mortgage. Yeah. Mortgage. That's right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Or like our neighbours used to shout at each other when they were shouting out to the oh. mother. Garbage! Mm. We used to hear from our dinner table, we'd be sitting around and, and the kid would be calling out to the mother, Garbage! Really? This is a true story. Yeah, true story. Was that her name? To him, I believe so. Okay. Or just, he was just... Um, bit of footsies there. Just footsie you then. It was just... Uh, right. It was an early... Uh, it was one of those early reviews on, on her cooking, yeah, perhaps. It was. What's that, what's that app you go to? That Yelp. Yelp. 
Mm. Ostrich derives from the ancient Greek word mm. for... See, this is more like it. Small hummingbird, medium titwillow, mm. big sparrow, or average dicky bird. <laughs> <laughs> titwillow. Dicky bird. Uh, yeah, you're saying average dicky bird. Yeah. Yeah, what was the other one? Uh, Tibolo. Big Sparrow or big Small sparrow. Hummingbird. Uh, big, say big Sparrow. Sean Oss has got it in. Well, so far, uh, Sean Oss is winning the everything. He's right on it. As I said, he's, it's, his, it's his day. It's because I'm on the pally tonight. I've oh, yeah, yeah. You're on the sharpness. The, the sharp, sharp, clear water of sparkling... Uh, Death water. You, call it? you could yeah. say it's like dignity is up for grabs. Yeah, that's right. And the last one here is video. So soon. So so soon. Uh, video means I see, mm. I view, see visual, or visibly <laughs> visible digital. I want to go see visual. I see, I view, see visual, visible uh, digital. Uh, see I what view. I did there? See how, yeah. see how I twisted mm. that up? Just mm. enough for you to go, could be. Yeah, could no, be. It it could be yeah. Yes, it is. What do you think at home? The view. The view. Why, why <laughs> Uh, right into us, sir. Why don't, why don't the <laughs> listeners just play this amongst yourselves? Can I please have the second one, Tim? Uh, the second one is I view. Oh, I have the third. See visual. No, that's what I've got. Well, I have the fourth. Visible digital. Are you taking first, Tim? I'll take the first. Well, the soundboard can take the first. Okay. Um, yeah. It is actually I see. Damn. Video yeah. means I see. If you know the, if you know your Latin, and do you? Yeah, no, I'm not, Ficus, not Bacus, so bad on Maximus the... Maximus uh, Spicus Dickus. bad on the uh, Latin plants and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Um, then you'll know that video is is the first person singular present indicative, in, indicative of the verb videri, meaning to see. Audio, incidentally, is the same conjunction of order, order, order. <laughs> meaning to hear or to listen. So, to see, to hear. There you yeah. go. There's some history of technologies, logos being tied to historical um, figures and that sort of having that kind of a, like a more solid foundation than you'd think. Like the, the Bluetooth logo was one of them. Um, you know, that little B with the yeah. two angles and that. That's actually a derivative of um, a Danish King Harold Blayton's symbol okay. who... He actually had a, I'm looking it up here, had a penchant for snacking on blueberries and was known for united, uniting warring factions in what is now Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Um, so big business, mm, that. Yeah. Um, oh, Bluetooth. That symbol. Yeah, well, you know, oh, yeah. the little things you take for granted actually have um, a bit of back, backlog, backstory. Mm. Backstory. I think they all do. Let's, let's, let's see if any of these words in the old uh, spin and think um, have any significance... Whatsoever, to anything. Well, I had a, I had an idea for a game. I did a bit of uh, research. Well, not research. It's like you know, thinking. Game that's, thinking game that's uh, that Dan coined. Danos coined uh, red pill, blue pill. Okay. So would you rather? Yep. It's, you know. What about what are new. our options? Well, well am I boring you? Yeah. So far, what are what are the parameters of this boring game? Well. <laughs> Cass, my, my lovely wife, when I read some of the um, well, some of the questions out, she said your reference is way too old. Um, oh yeah, you need to you need to spice it up. No one knows what the how's people your from point, the thirties weren't point picking of it up. Anything other than um, I've understood about twenty percent of what you guys have been talking about. Okay, cool. We're Excellent. using words. Do you yeah. know those? I do. I've, I have done nodded <laughs> off like every now and then, but I've you know. <laughs> Working back up. I'm going to bet that if we bought up characters, background characters of Disney movies, you'd be all over that shit. Yeah, sure. I did know Alf because I watched the reruns. Okay. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah, because it was syndicated. It was syndicated, wasn't it? Yeah. There should be more Alf reruns. Like, they've played MASH non-stop back to back for 25 35 years just but give us some alpha. Those, and, alpha. Alpha. Like, and the brady know, bunch has never been off the air apparently really i think so uh, i don't so know it's still don't relevant. Quite that's ridiculous still relevant to today's <laughs> alf no uh alf isn't relevant Do you know what I mean? yeah i think like he-man came in and transformers and sort of was at the same time I don't know did, did you, you see school? they're bringing roxanne back 
Which same Roxanne? characters. Same Roseanne. characters. Well, oh, Roseanne. 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 Yeah, Roseanne. Roseanne. Okay. They are, Roxanne. Roxanne. They are bringing Roseanne it's back. It's back. It is back. It's already back. It started this week. And did you know that uh, the replacement for Becky mm. on Roseanne is the voice of the mother in uh, Rick and Morty? That you're oh, really? saying. The, the, the doctor from Scrubs. What you call her? So Doctor from Scrubs, chick. The, the chick that is, is the, the voice the, of the mother in Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty is on Roseanne, who played Becky. There you go. There's oh. a bit of <laughs> wow. I believe her character was Elliot. There you in go. Scrubs. Ah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So that. you know. I knew something. You know something. Unless I'm wrong, then I didn't. Yeah. No, I think that's right. So, um, yeah, I was watching Doctor Who and um, it uh, dawned on me this game is like, because. The Daleks only got so powerful because they were in fear of the Doctor. and Because uh, the Doctor hunts them down throughout time, all time. Can I give you a Doctor Who? Please do. There you go. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Jesus. Don't worry about that. Uh, yeah, so it's. Uh, I was thinking about you know, who's, who's the best villain and all that kind of nonsense in, in start... Star Wars and sci-fi. Star Wars, did you say? Yes, please. <laughs> Fast ship. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon, old man. Right. right. Anyway, so <laughs> Star Trek versus Doctor Who. Versus... Did you say Star Trek? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Uh, Star Trek versus Doctor Who versus Star Wars. Okay. It's basically the same as, you know, like, who's your favorite Beatle? It seems how there's only three categories. Ring goes out of the equation because mm. he's no one's favourite. No one. Yeah. Wasn't there five Beatles? She Loves You, uh, yeah, was originally titled. There was one, oh, there was one um, guy that had to play drums for him once they won tour or something like that because you don't really need Ringo. There was mm. a drummer before Ringo. Mm. Pete, Pete Best. And there was another bassist, Stuart Sutcliffe. Oh, yeah. Them. I think the, the fifth Beatle was referred to as George Martin, the producer, because he had a lot to do with um, their, their, their changing of sound. Sure enough. Sure enough. <laughs> Come through with that uh, Beatles Jesus. information. Love the Beatles. Love Great. the Beatles. Okay. All right, so Love the Beatles, yeah. question one. Um, it's basically a death sentence. Okay. Uh, so you've got to choose your death, perhaps. Uh, you can either be on Star Trek and you're going to be one of the red shirts. Okay. They go on the away missions, and they're inevitably going to get killed. If you've only seen him in that episode, and they're not a recurring character, they're going to die on the away mission. They're called the Red Shirts, if you didn't know. That's a thing. It's actually a real thing. So if you're going to go on an away team in Star Trek, and you're not a main character, you're dead. You're dead basically. So yep. that's going to be one, and it's from the 60s uh, Star Trek, so, you know, it's not So you're going to cool. have sex with the blue woman and then die. That's awesome. That's, if you're going to go out, I mean, so, yeah, so you anyway. might as well go out like Super that. Gonorrhea. You've always said that. Uh, <laughs> Super gonorrhea. Is, yeah. this, is this game named What Death Is What? No, this is just uh, Would You Rather in a very complicated form. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so the red shirts uh, from Doctor Who, you can be one of his traveling companions, so replaceable uh, female character that will die a horrible death uh, throughout all time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no. Uh... <laughs> there you go. Or you could be under the rule of the Empire in Star Wars as a uh, stormtrooper on the first. Uh, death, so, do death, you death, answer to death do you answer to the Emperor or do you answer to Darth Vader in that? Well, the scenario. problem with this one is you are on the Death Star that gets blown up. Okay. The first Death Star. Okay. So they're all deaths. All right. Or live the rest of your life as Ringo. <laughs> do Do you know that you're going to die? Like, do you pick the mm. scenario with the knowledge of how you're going to die, or are you just picking how you want to live out your last days? Is it going to enhance your answer? Yes. Well, you choose. Yes. I think I might have. I think I might have a. And also, um, did you say that as a red shirt, someone said you get to fuck the blue lady? I think. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You you get to go out in the Star Trek world universe. You might get a couple of missions. You know, it might be a year before you die. You don't know. Yeah, Stormtrooper's got no action. And what's the what's the Beatles related one? Well, you have to be Ringo the whole time. Okay. All right. So, is, that, is that one of the options? Yeah. <laughs> you remember when you were with the Beatles? Number nine, 
Number nine. There you go. You've done you've done really well, man. Thanks. <laughs> so there's your uh, there's your possibilities or your your. Possible Are you going to give us scenarios? That's the three. Okay. That's the first question. You get to decide now. Oh, okay. A red, a red um, shirt. I think Do you know how um, this game works. Yep, sure. Would you rather? I think I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory. Yep. I want to be in the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to be a stormtrooper. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be a floor sweeper. I don't want to get on the. I don't want to get on the guns. You can be a maintenance guy as a stormtrooper. That's fine. Because I feel like my plastic armor is going to protect me as a floor sweeper mm. more than a laser shield type of dude. Fair enough. So I think if I'm going to blow up, I just want to blow up once, and I want to be shot by painful lasers, and yeah. have the and have the uh, blaze of glory. I have my costume fused to my body because of the hot, hot lasers. And I guess when the uh, the the Death Star does blow up, you're just a maintenance guy, so you're probably just in your maintenance room having a having a coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would have been fairly abrupt. It wouldn't wouldn't have seen it coming. All of a sudden. Yeah, that's right. Good way to go. Possibly the the way you want to go. You know, it's really. It's the the rapture of the dark side, isn't it? Mm. Really, mm. Mm. Um, and inevitably they're all screwed because they subscribe to the dark side. Yeah, and we all know the uh, the Empire fell. No spoilers <laughs> for the new movie, but uh, it doesn't work out for the Emperor. I have no spoilers for the new movie. I'm sitting here <laughs> absolutely conflicted because I'm thinking no brainer. Want to be Ringo Starr because you know he's still a rock star, still got to hang out with the Beatles, you know, and still alive and. God, and still alive, but that's probably the worst part of it because I can't get my head around it because um, he's a bloody vegan. Do you think he made more money? Do you think he made more money drumming? Do you think he made more money out of one snare, one hi hat than he did of his uh, Thomas Tank, the engine, the Thomas Tank engine days? I think think those that Beatles money uh, keeps flowing. Never stops. I think that Beatles money is good money. Yeah, yeah, it's residuals. That's yeah. that's your Oprah money. Are they making more money than like Akadaka? Man, he just got knighted last week. Did he? Ringo Starr. Okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> Sir Richard Starkey. Sir Richard Starkey. Is that yeah, what his he name wasn't? Is? He hadn't been knighted. He would received an MBE previously, but he just recently got knighted. Uh, Prince uh, Prince William, giving him the old sword over the year. Ringo, um, though, where does that come from? Oh, that's his nickname. Prince yeah. William, yeah. is he authorised to do such a... Well, he is his royalty. Okay. Prince. True He's that, a... true that. No doubt. I they can't the wheel the other guy Heir to the throne. The Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Another guy. Uh, the other the other guy. Queen's but, husband. Yeah. What's he's, his name? He's retired. Barry. He's he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's in the smoke over Mr. Mr. Queen. Now. Yeah. What's his name? The Duke of Edinburgh. George. Edward. Duke of Edinburgh. He's, uh, apparently, he's a bit of a legend. Apparently, like he's got a pretty dry sense of humour, and anybody that's come close to like meeting the Queen or something is usually in the backdrops dropping like pretty dirty jokes. Like, yeah, dropping that um, Nazi sympathiser. Yeah, pretty funny um, for a racist, uh, yeah. <laughs> aristocrat. How do you want? How do you want to die? Um, I think I'm at a bit of a disadvantage because I don't have the wealth of knowledge oh, about oh, each right, universe. Right, right. But uh, if I was going to go, I'd probably go the Death Star, but my item of choice would be a plank of wood big enough to cover the hole. Can uh, you get so wood? Oh, right. I could. <laughs> <laughs> the little tube that the bomb goes down. Yeah. 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 And then yeah. just that hole. save everyone and then Yeah, imagine if they got the all that distance yeah. and they flew past and they went, the hole's covered. <laughs> you just need to go down to Bunnies and get yourself yeah. uh, a couple of cans of that expander foam. Yeah. And just spray it in there. Let's yeah. Just blow up the yeah. whole thing. And head on down block to of cheese. Um, head on down to where the only wood in the universe exists on Endor yeah. mm. and uh, pick yourself up a plank. Bit of a log. Yeah. Log jam it. Fair yeah. enough. That's a good answer. And uh, have we heard from... Everybody? Yeah, pretty much. That you, was my sort of had do, a, do you, a answer. You're a Doctor Who fan, just to bring it back to mm. Doctor Who. Um, did you continue on with that series? Uh, I only started when it got, like, 2005, when the reboot happened. Like, the, the old stuff you don't want to be, have, when was get the anywhere with, near uh, that Doctor Who. Uh, Baker? Ba- Barker? Baker? Yeah, something like that. Tom? Tom Baker? Baker? That's yeah. when I stopped. But he's not a baker, he's a lady. Oh, true that. Remember? No doubt. Yeah. Um, and uh, Star Trek, you were with Star Trek the whole time. I'm, I'm down with Star Trek, still watching. I watched uh, an episode yesterday. Can I, give uh, you a, can I give you a Star Trek quote that, you, that will catch you by do. surprise? My friend, 
is obviously Chinese. I see you've noticed the ears. He caught his head in a mechanical rice picker. He was saying you'll have no trouble explaining it. <laughs> Actual quote from the show. <laughs> Took me forever to find that today, by the well. way. I did. Well, make sure you get another, you can play it again at some stage oh, if Jesus. you want. All right, sure. Just if you feel it uh, okay. coming up. You've done all that work for it, so... All right, so that's that was great. No one's taking. I'll, I'll actually, I'll go probably with the Doctor Who. I'll be his traveling companion, even if it is female, because uh, you know space and time. I want to, you know, Star Trek. You, you get your odd spatial space anomaly or spatial anomaly. It's really hard to yeah, say when you think about it. But it's generally just a whole lot of space. Uh, but Doctor Who, that's that's your game every day. You go back to the. The Romans, you're seeing dinosaurs, you're going way into the future. You can see the end of the galaxy if you want. You know. And um, it's not a recurring story. Doesn't it reset at the start of every... Or is that a... Re- he re uh, he regenerates. No, but does the story continue on? Do you have to watch every episode to know what's nah, going on? Nah, I can't. Not really. But How often? Would you, uh, would you actually sleep with the Doctor? Yeah, well, he's... Uh, I don't think he's a sexual being. I think he... he, he I think he goes both. He did go both ways for a while there, but now he just. That means he's pretty, pretty he's, damn sexual. He's old, so he's pretty. He's over it. Yeah. He never. He never messes with the traveling companions. Yeah. So really. You're pretty I don't know safe. about that. Yeah. Never that kisses him. That never... gets me onto my next question. How often do you dream about Doctor Who coming and taking you by the hand and showing you the universe and the multi dimensions <laughs> and, and, the... and uh, showing you his black hole? Yeah. No, he's uh, he's TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> and he's uh. A space spanner. What is that? It's a space spanner. It is. <laughs> wow, I've never watched it. There you go. It's great. Is it really it's called great. a space spanner? Uh, yeah. Or is it a wand? Screwdriver. <laughs> uh, rusty screwdriver. I heard somebody refer to the lightsabers once as wands. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the, the things they, they clink together. The wands, you know. No. no that's Not Harry those. Potter. Uh, uh, would uh, I rather... Blue yeah, okay, pill, so red pill. What kind of, what kind of uh, villain... Are you, and if you are going to be known as a villain throughout all space and time, are you a a <laughs> a Borg? Now that's from your Star Trek universe. That's where, the half humanoid, yeah. half um, assimilated robotic. Um, are they your wrinkle heads? Hybrid. They know that hybrid. No, they lose their head. hair. Wrinkle heads are Klingons. Okay, the so. Borgs are the robot robots. Yep. Robots and they uh, live in the big cube that floats through space, and all they do is assimilate, and they uh, have a hive, hive mind, hive mind. He's on there it. you go. I am on it. I do like the resistance bogs. is futile. Is their uh, catchphrase? Is their hashtag? Mm-hmm. Hashtag <laughs> resistance is futile. So you're going to be known as a Borg. So you're not human anymore. You're basically hive mind, traveling through space, uh, taking over as much of it, of it as you can. Uh, Doctor Who, you're going to be a Daleks. Now, they're a... Exterminate, oxygen. exterminate. Do you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They look okay. like rubbish tins with... Um, so it's the rubbish tin, right? But the with an, It's a, like an octopus-type uh, creature. So it's an alien. Is it? Yeah, it's just an alien. But that's its suit. Is it? Yeah. Now, what you got to what you got to weigh up between a Borg and a Dalek? A Dalek Is, can't get up a staircase. Can't get up a staircase. And you're going to say that. But they do have... Yeah, because that's a... They're quite clever okay. if they're a mechanical cephalopod. But they can shoot up a stairwell. They can, and they can just <laughs> go through time and mess with your grandparents. Like, okay. Yeah, you know, the Daleks are very time based. Time based. Time based villains. Yes. And that's not to say the Borg haven't gone through time before. Like, that's, let's just have that straight. Yeah, of course they haven't. One of the movies. Okay. Uh, or you can be, what's their uh, exterminate, exterminate is their hashtag. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Now, for the uh, Star Wars portion, you've got your dark side. Join the dark side is their hashtag, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or you can be Yoko out of the Beatles. Okay, which is... Um, one of the greatest Don't Beatles join the Beatles. Quit the Beatles. No, destroy the Beatles. Yeah. Destroy all music. Um, so, there you go. There's your villain options. What I'd was... go. I'd go Yoko just based on the fact that most of what I saw of her... She um, spends most of her time in bed. With John Lennon? Yeah, that's a downside, Nude. but she's probably on enough drugs to, um, you know, not know that. Okay. Uh, what, was the, what was the first option again? Uh, uh, title A. You can be Borg. 
Okay, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I feel like I'm already a Borg mm. because every time I come up with a really good idea, it's been thought of by the hive. By the hive mind. Yeah. Mm. And you you do a little search. Who's invented the internet? Oh, wait a minute, I'm looking on the internet. Someone else has invented it. He's a bit dark about his uh Timmy Taco. <laughs> I invented the iPhone when I was sixteen. I may have of... invented the calculator. <laughs> but I didn't realise they were going to put calculators on iPhones, so we're a little bit. Uh, we'll see. We'll don't worry about. See it. how history. Previous episode. See how history remembers you, Tim. It's uh, mystery. Okay, so if you don't want to answer this, fine. Uh, as a as being a, a villain, I I would I would say Borg. Borg. Because I feel like I'm already a Borg. You can double up. Is that it? You can. You, you don't. <laughs> ha- you don't have to go the same same answer. Uh, okay, I won't oh. go Borg. Right. Oh, you can go. The I same can go. Answer, so. Okay, I will go Borg. Oh, you're not talking to me. No, no, no. All right, I'm just trying to sort my brain out, Tim, over sure. here. Sure. Okay, so um, I would go Yoko. One because only one that I recognise. Yep. Yep. Two, I just really appreciate her subtlety of evilness. Mm-hmm. Like she, like you know, it make love to create war. Yeah. Is, uh, oh, it's, oh it's, yeah. It's, it's just there. purely, you know, yeah. psychological. The, yeah, there's something sinister about that, isn't there? Yeah, warfare. Number eight. Uh, yeah. Number eight. Uh, isn't that a song? <laughs> I think it's number nine. You remember when you were with the Beatles? Number nine. Number nine. The old <laughs> divide and conquer yeah. tactic in there. Yeah. Slides through with a subtle evil like a cat, which yeah. all cats have. That subtle burn. evil. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. like... If you die, your cats will eat you within about two or three days. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Delicious. So, the taste yeah, that can't yeah, be beat. As soon as, as soon as you stop breathing, your cats are looking cats at you like food. Now. Yeah. They're sure. constantly looking at you. Mm. <laughs> how's your cat, how's <laughs> your cat right. going there, Tim? Uh, it looks like he's been put through the wash. <laughs> In fact, uh, he was out uh, enjoying some sun the other day. Had a big pile of leaves and it had a little bit of, you know... Debris from the from the yard, a bit of newspaper and a bit of this and a bit of that. It looked like a pile of rubbish, basically. What I'm saying is a pile of rubbish in my driveway, and the cat was in it, and he looked part of it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say when he walked past the sun, you could see the silhouette of his organs through his stomach. He's quite, he's quite thin. He's quite thin, isn't he? I'm Poor just trying to starve him to death. I don't want he's him a good dead. cat. Good cat though. Yeah, he doesn't, good he cat doesn't have the same um, get up and go as an elf. No, though he did. Like if Alf, up, Alf was chasing him, he'd be eaten. He did spring up the other day to 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 run over to a different part of the yard to like. Oh, really? Had a bit of, oh, I've never seen him move. I've past never seen that either. Saunter. Um, he didn't do anything. Just ran over it. there. Is there a possibility he could be just the cat Grim Reaper? Could be. Um, like steal he's already the dead, and this is yeah. the sixth sense. Yeah, I see dead people. No, you, just, you see dead pussy. I see dead pussy. <laughs> Uh, but with that uh, amazing game that I put together whilst drinking vodka uh, two nights ago, I think yeah. we can wrap this up. It's really good that it's over. Mm. <laughs> Is this uh, yeah. What the, the episode? No. Okay, no. great. Oh, game. Not in general. Um, another word that just came up in our think tank, gracelessness, which I didn't know was a word. <laughs> then the, Now that I say it, it doesn't even sound like one. I think one. that's just what I just did then. Like. Okay. Yeah. With, to be without grace <laughs> and less of that ness. Uh, yeah, so it's around this time that we uh, wrap up the show, which we call the end. <laughs> I'm Hefe, the boss, <laughs> Timmy Taco. I'm just an underling uh, stormtrooper in this thing. Uh, <laughs> just bot. I'm just a uh, ring in resident whore, short enough. I'm just an unemployed intern. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, you're fired. Uh, uh, you're unemployed now. <laughs> See you later. Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. This ship will self-destruct in exactly two minutes and forty-five seconds. Thank you.